Hi, it's Caroline. Welcome back to my channel, Gothic Milk Tea. Um, since I am a goth, I guess, I don't like to put labels on things, but I'll say, just for all intents and purposes, I am a goth. I enjoy the goth subculture. I love goth music, goth literature, goth style, you name it. I If it has a skull on it, I probably own it. And um, so let's get started. I, today, want to show you some of my favorite goth bags. Um, just some of them are purses, some, there's a backpack, um, I have a makeup bag, uh, anything that I put stuff in that looks like something a goth would put stuff in. So, for starters, this is just a simple evening bag, just a black leather bag. It can easily be goth or, you know, whatever you want it to be. This is just for fancier events because I am just such a socialite and I always am going to parties. <laughs> And I'll dive right into my very favorite bag of them all. My Book of Spells backpack. I get a lot of comments on this asking where I got it from. It came from killstar.com. Um, obviously, it has a very nice design. It looks like a book. It's, it's a backpack. Um, it was a little bit pricey, but I carry it with me everywhere. So I would say that it was worth it. Um, a lot of people ask me if it's like a witchcraft sort of thing. No, it's just a it's just an accessory. No, just just a little goth accessory. It's cute. I like it. It's gothy. Um, next I will show you my makeup bag, and it is you know who it is. <laughs> it's Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, King of Goth. You know, yeah, just, I got it from Torrid. Um, for, for those of you that don't know, Torrid is like a plus size store. I, I'm no longer plus size. I actually recently lost weight, but I still love Torrid and they're owned by the same company as Hot Topic. So they have a lot of the same things, all those gothy alternative things. And this was one of them and I love it. I got it like three years ago. I still use it. This is something I got for cosplay purposes but I wear it as a regular bag also this is kind of a fanny pack but it goes on the leg like you know it just straps around your leg and you put stuff in it like a fanny pack but it's like a I feel badass when I wear it I'll be honest I like feeling like like I'm like a like a movie heroine like I'm about to go you know Right a tomb, you know. It also kind of reminds me of like Han Solo's holster because I love Han Solo and I cosplayed as him before. And next I will show you this non-goth bag that I use a lot. I got it from Etsy, um, SoCal Studios. Um, yeah, I like it because it's got little London symbols on it, like, you know, Big Ben, some little telephone booth things. Very cute. I use it to put my laptop in sometimes. Um, I use it to go to dance class. Yes, I am, I'm a dancer. I've been dancing for a long time and I enjoy this bag so much. And I think last but not least, this is another bag that people really love. It has this metal this metal chain thing on it and it's a mcdonald's happy meal or unhappy meal uh, yes i got this from killstar as well um i actually got it on sale so i love a good bargain and i get a lot of compliments on this as well as the as well as the other killstar bag people love that it looks like a little happy meal bag, but especially when it's closed, it's, you know. Oh, and the other side, Mick Goth. I love the Mick Goth phrase because it kind of makes me think of like, like a fake goth, like, like a mall goth. My dog. <laughs> like you just went to the mall and you just like got the first thing you saw at Hot Topic and you're like, yeah, I'm goth. Yes. So that's why I, I think there it's like taking back the phrase like Mick Goth. So, 
those are my favorite bags. Um, so I'd like to leave you with a question. Uh, this is obviously I'm very new to YouTube and I would like to know, are there any specific types of videos you'd like to see? I've been working with another YouTuber. We've been collabing, bouncing ideas back and forth. And I just want to know, like, if I have any viewers out there that enjoy my content, that enjoy like goth lifestyle type stuff, um, let me know, like, what would you like to see? I've, you know, come up with some ideas, maybe some DIY stuff, you know, because a lot of goth is DIY because you can't just go to Walmart.